Pages collection on Nintendo Switch. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mermaid Playhouse. And today we have some pretty big news from Sega. So they just announced the Sega Ages collection that will be coming over to the Nintendo Switch, where they'll be porting over all the old school Sega games, back from the Sega Master System, aka Mega Drive in Japan, taking all those great game franchises and bringing them to the Switch. You know, we've all been waiting for the Nintendo Virtual Console. We're not really too sure why they haven't announced Virtual Console yet. Reason to believe that they're just holding it off until the release of their online subscription service coming up in the fall. Just makes the most sense that they'll be bringing Virtual Console, or at least in some format of it, just to have all those retro games on your Nintendo Switch because that's just instant hit right there. We'll all buy those games. But since Nintendo hasn't announced anything about it yet, well, Sega decided to take it into their own hands and they're releasing the Sega Ages collection. And right now they have 15 games that will be coming over. They announced Sonic the Hedgehog 1 will be coming over. Great game, obviously. You got Sonic coming. Fantasy Star, they announced that. However, I'm not too sure which Fantasy Star game it is because it just says Fantasy Star. Reason to believe it's going to be number four because that was just the best Fantasy Star game in this series. But you would think that the first one would come over. So that was on the Master System, so I think it's just gonna be Sega Genesis games as of right now. Although they did announce Alex Kidd in Miracle World will be coming to the Sega Ages collection, and that was on the Sega Master System, so maybe we will get the first Fantasy Star on this collection, which would be great. But yes, Alex Kidd in Miracle World will be coming over to the Switch. And for anyone out there that doesn't know who Alex Kidd is, well, he was originally Sega's first mascot. All the way back in the Sega Master System, he was really popular, he made many games in that Alex Kidd franchise world. But then once Sonic came out and became really popular, Sonic just kind of took over and Alex Kidd got, well, he went away. Another game is Thunder Force 4. I'm not really too sure what this game is. I haven't played any of the Thunder Force games. I think they're shooter games, you know, with the top-down point of view, although I'm not 100%, so you can Google that up. And Game Ground is another one. And as well, I think that might be one of those shooter games you find some aircraft and you shoot. Again, I'm not 100%. I haven't played any of those two games, so that's five games right there that we know about that are definitely coming over to the Switch in the Sega Ages collection. So there's 15 games in total that they said that they will be bringing. And apparently it's coming out this summer, which is really good because that's pretty soon. It's already spring. I'm not really too sure on any of the prices yet. They haven't announced prices. They haven't announced whether or not it's going to be one big game collection, all 15 games on one collection, or if it's going to be 15 separate different games that you can buy. Also, I'm not too sure if it's going to be a physical edition or a digital only release. I would really love a physical edition of the game, especially if you can get them individually. How great would it be to get the original Fantasy Star game on a physical cart in a case for the Nintendo Switch. That would just be really great. Anyone that has that nostalgia for that series or any of the collectors out there such as myself for Fantasy Star because they didn't really make many collectible items for Fantasy Star. And to get an all new game cartridge on a new case would be awesome to see. Though I highly doubt that we'll get that because it just wouldn't make sense business wise. It would just cost too much. For them to print up a new case and get the artwork for it, put the game out onto a cartridge and ship it out all across the country and across the world. It just wouldn't make sense. It would just make more sense for them to do a digital version only, which sadly is what it is. But then how much would it be if it's digital only? Are they again gonna be separately? Would you buy them each separately? Then what? Maybe five dollars per game, ten dollars max I could see, but five dollars would be reasonable. But then if they did that, I know myself, I wouldn't buy them all. I would just buy the ones that I really like. Then I don't really have that much of an interest to go back and play all the Sega games. Some, yeah, I would. Like I would definitely replay the Fantasy Star game. I would definitely replay Sonic because they're just replayability in that. But some of the other ones, I would just kind of skip over, like Thunder Force 4. I've never really been big into shooter games, I've never played that game, so it didn't really appeal to me, so I'll just kind of skip over that. But now if they released it on one game collection, then I would be forced to get them all, because, well, you get 15 great games, and then they can charge a little bit more for the game collection. Of course, I don't want to pay more, no, I want to pay as little as possible, but you know, that's business right there. And it would just make sense, if they put up 15 games onto one cartridge, all in one game, then you have all these great games on one little place on your Switch, and then they could do a physical release because they wouldn't have to make 15 different physical editions for each game. They could just do one game collection, one physical cartridge, that would be really neat to see, because that I would actually buy. I'd pay full price for that, regardless. I don't want to, I could see that being like 30 bucks for 15 games. That would make more sense, especially for a physical release. Digital, you know, whatever. If it's digital, then I'll still get it, because I do want that Fantasy Star on the Switch. I think that'd be really cool. I can kind of want to dive back into it. And if not, whatever. I do have the game on my Sega Genesis. I still have it. It still works. I have played it recently. But to get a new physical edition of it, that would just be so great collector-wise. So again, I'm not too sure how they're going to be releasing it. 
how much will each game be? Will it all be on one cartridge or will it be individually? Will it be physical or digital only? But that's five games right there that are confirmed to be coming over to the Switch. So we got ten more to go. So I wonder what they're going to announce. Will they announce them all or will it be a surprise? Kind of would like a surprise because I'm going to get it regardless. And some other games that I would like to see on this collection, one being Landstalker. That was a really great game. That's an RPG back on the Sega Genesis. It's a very underrated RPG. It had that isometric point of view. It was really interesting. It was a great game. It was an action RPG, so you got to swing your sword around and you can jump. The jumping mechanic was really neat, and there was a lot of interesting puzzles going on in this game. However, it was difficult because the platforming in this game, just imagine an isometric point of view and you're platforming all around. It's a very hard to see what platforms are where and how high they are, so that was the most difficult part about the game, because you would all the time you would jump and you would just miss where you're trying to jump. Then you would fall all the way down and have to redo everything all over again. But it was a fantastic game. You got to level up your character. You got all new weapons and swords that you could get. Different kind of power rings that would affect your abilities. The story was fantastic. There was a, one huge overall story. Basically, you're Nigel, the treasure hunter, and you go out to this mystic island and you're trying to hunt down this treasure that was left behind by King Noel. And you have other bounty hunters that are after you. And throughout the big world and the overall story, there's a bunch of little mini stories going on. Different things that you have to do throughout the world. It's really interesting. It's a great game. It was very underrated. Another game franchise that would just make perfect sense is Shining Force. That is a great strategy RPG. It's got that turn-based action system. It's a strategy role-playing game. It's a fantastic game. My goodness, is it a huge game as well, especially for being back in the Sega Genesis. There's so many different characters that you can get in this game. You got somewhere between like 20 and 30 characters. I'm not exactly sure about how many, but there were a lot. And you could easily miss them. You could go throughout the world and you would just find them in a town or in a village somewhere, out in the wilderness. You would just find them somewhere that's hidden in a back room of a house somewhere. And you would talk to them and ask them to join your team. So you could easily skip over many playable characters. But it's a great game franchise. They made sequels to Shining Force, so that's a perfect candidate to bring over to the Second Ages collection. Golden Axe is another fantastic beat em up games. This was the perfect game on Sega Genesis. That would be the perfect game to pour it over on the Sega Ages collection. It just has that classic Sega-ness to it. I think it was originally an arcade game and then it was ported onto the Sega Genesis. But it was a great game regardless. But it had that old medieval feel going on. So I could easily see that being ported over to the Switch. And another one I can think of off the top of my head is Streets of Rage. Again, that's another beat em up game. But Streets of Rage, I would definitely say defines the beat-em-up style gameplay. That was a great game. It had smooth gameplay, a very fast pace, just going along beating up people. Much like Double Dragon, but much faster paced. It was a great game, an amazing game franchise, so I could easily see them bringing that over in the Second Ages collection. It makes perfect sense, so I would bet a lot that that'll be ported over. And Sega did say that if the Second Ages collection, if this first batch of games sells well, they will be making more, they'll be bringing out more games, and even more so, they'll be porting over Sega Dreamcast and Sega Saturn games. Wow, that is great news right there. Imagine playing Sega Dreamcast games and Sega Saturn games all on your Nintendo Switch. That's awesome. All these great games that many people missed out. Like myself, I missed out on a lot of games. I never played any of the Sega Saturn games. I didn't own a Saturn. That was when Nintendo 64 came out and I had a Nintendo 64. And I did have a Dreamcast, but I didn't play much of it. I only remember a couple few games on that. So there's tons of great games that I missed out that hopefully that if this first collection sells well, which Reason to believe, guaranteed, it's going to sell amazingly well. Well, then Sega will be releasing Saturn games and Dreamcast games all on the Nintendo Switch. That's great news. That's fantastic. Right there, I don't even need the virtual console now. Although I really do because, you know, tons of great old school Nintendo games. Imagine getting GameCube on Nintendo Switch. That's really good. Mm. So that's the Sega Ages collection that's coming over. That's great news by Sega. But say what you want about Sega, but old school Sega. Especially the Genesis days, the Sega Mega Drive days, that was when they were at their prime. They made fantastic games back then, and being able to play them on your Switch is awesome news. So hopefully we'll get more announcements about this. I would love to see all these great retro Sega games come over to the Switch. I want more of them, so that's going to be it for today's episode. So thank you for joining us today for another episode of Warming Playhouse, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you again for another episode. We'll see you then. Bye! Ah!